tired of this. <coughs> Live, deep in the heart of West Texas, it's the James Hendricks Show from the Hendricks Center of Advanced Conservative Federalist Studies, SIB. Okay, guys, here we are. I, the title of this one is called American Republic Public Affairs Consulting. Okay, so in this case of this one, I'm going to put on my thinking cap. My consulting cap, rather. And talk to you about a piece I saw in the, uh, in the American Thinker. It's talking about how the, the title of it was called The State of the Union is Dumb. Okay, we, we, we've talked several times in, in my, some of my shows about catching gum. And he mentioned Joe Biden's State of the Union, where there's like this master game, you know, and the white suppression team, I didn't call it that. The, the, the author of the piece called it that. Under Captain and under Coach Biden was losing. Zero wins. Nine losses. Okay? Zero wins, nine losses. Now, if you ask me, if the Democrats and Biden have any hope of ever getting back in power, they need to stop this race war betting, uh, baiting thing. Okay? They need to stop it. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's bad public affairs. It's bad public affairs. Okay? It happened back in the days of uh, Bill Clinton. You know, with the likes of liberals like Louis, Louis Farrakhan. I think he called himself an, an Islamic guy. Reverend of some sort. If there, if there is such a thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm sitting here talking to you about this because, quite frankly, the Biden administration needs better crisis communications. But, of course, being a conservative federalist, if you ask me, here's what he needs to do to keep people from catching down. Unlock the Keystone Pipeline because our philosophy with what's going on with Russia and Ukraine is drill, baby, drill. Okay? And I think any president worth his salt, Democrat or Republican, should put us back on the gold standard. Alright? That's just my financial advice. Also, another thing. Another thing is this. Listen to me now. <coughs> As a man who has studied political science and mass media, I've seen when there's political crises and how different different leaders have handled it. Um, lots of wonderful books, you know, Marlon Fitzwater's uh, Call the Briefing. The thing is this, guys. I don't know what kind of crisis communication the, the Biden administration has. I mean, and so as, as a public affairs consultant, I think... I think we need to see that we need to see a, a serious sea change, a serious, uh, uh, as the Democrats were calling for back in in 2006, or even back in 2004, regime change. <coughs> oh, please. You know, a sea change, and so. And so that, that is the thing, is we as conservative federalists need to be able to stand up. We need to be able to advocate for the causes that we believe in, especially those who have received training in such things. We need to take charge of our future instead of always expecting the government to take care of us. I'm sorry to have to have a short episode of kind of exigent circumstances here. But I hope you enjoyed listening to the James Hendricks Show. 
If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving most daily updates. This is Jimi Hendrix. Until next time, take care and be proactively informed. God bless you.